Hey everybody, G Bear here again. I want to uh, do a little update on that last electrical experiment that I was working on. And you can see it here in front of you. Um, what I had before was the, uh, the old burnt out um, transformer, doorbell transformer, and the little electric motor. And I went out into my shop and I found another brand new uh, doorbell transformer that I added onto this. Just I was wanted to see if I add more antennas, am I going to increase my electrical output? And uh, I've come up with a great little discovery on this. It's pretty interesting. And you'll see over in the background here, I have a couple more transformers that I just picked up at the uh, home store. And I'm going to uh, wire those in also linear, um, just adding more to the sides here and here just going straight out uh, in a line. And you'd be amazed at what, uh, what I found out with this. Uh, it did prove my theory that with the proper um, antenna, a, a good receiving antenna, I should be able to pull quite a bit of electricity right out of the air. So uh, here we go, I'm going to uh, get going here. I'm gonna turn on first my meter and let that zero out. Now, you also uh, notice that I've got my hands free today. I have both of them free, and that's because I finally made myself a holder that uh, will hold my cell phone up onto a tripod and uh, give me a little bit more steadiness while I'm working. Okay, so you remember last time when I plugged this in, I was running out about 11.8, uh, 11.9 volts or so. Um, I think that's what it was. Anyway, I've got two of them wired in now, and they're wired in in series. I've got the hot wire, or the black wire from one of them, going into the white wire, or the neutral wire, to the other one. That leaves me one black wire and one white wire to hook my testers to. Now, here's my black tester coming off of my meter and I'm going to put that on the white wire and then I'm going to use a jumper here I picked a couple of these up at the uh, electronics store today it makes it a little easier I don't have to hold on to the probe I'll clip that onto the red probe and I'm going to click clip that other end of that onto the black wire on the second transformer. Now we're going to plug it in and as you can hear the motor just started running and look what we got here. It did multiply. We're running 28 and a half volts AC on this uh, little unit right now with two of them tied in. So that does prove my theory that uh, if the stronger my antenna, the better my antenna, the more voltage I'm going to be able to pull out of the air. Because these are not in any way connected uh, physically with wiring. They're just basically just right up against each other, just uh, picking up induction. Okay, so I'm going to put this down a second, shut off the motor, and we'll wire a couple more of these in. We're going to take the black wire, it's going to go to the white wire on this one. I have to move my meter a little bit there, maybe move this over here. And we'll take the other one and place it down on the end over here. So on this side, we're going to take the black wire from the last one, the old burnt out one, and connect it with the white wire. This is a series connection. So now I have a black wire on this side and a white wire on this side. The green wires, as you can see, are just ground wires. Uh, we're not using those for this experiment. There's no need for it. 
Um, radio frequency electricity is quite safe. Even though I'm going to up the voltage here, I'll show you that I can touch the contacts and I won't get any shock at all. There's, it just does not affect you. So here we go. We're going to hook the black wire to the white on that side. And we'll bring my jumper up here. And we'll hook the red wire to the black one on this side. And we'll get the meter into focus here. You can see my line up here. We're ready to plug in. There we go. Turn that a little bit. Look at that. 60, 60 to 61 volts. AC. Isn't that something? So we originally started with 11, then we jumped up to 28 using two of them. Now going to four, we're, using, we're running 59, 58 to 59 volts AC current or AC voltage. So the, again, this proves my theory that if I build a, a efficient enough receiving antenna I should be able to pull electricity right out of the air beneath power lines and use it, make it utilize. Okay, now I was telling you about the uh, not getting a shock. Say I can grab a hold of both these wires here, both my contacts, and there's no shock at all. Now if you had 59 volts coming out of your house electricity out of the wall, the, the electricity that comes through wires, not through the air, that would give you one heck of a jolt. It would it, it would make you let go very quickly, because uh, 59 to 60 volts is uh, quite a bit. That's half of 120 volts. So if I put four more of these here, um, I would guess that it would go up exponentially, and I would end up with 120 volts AC, which would be enough to power a light bulb. And uh, I'm going to span around here. You'll notice that I do have a light bulb set up in the background there. Um, that's for another one. I also have a doorbell here. Um, I'm going to do some experimenting with that because those have electromagnetic uh, magnets in them that ca cause a little plunger to ring the bell. That's my in the center is my um, my new DC uh, voltage adjustable voltage output. I can run from uh, 0 to 30 volts DC and up to 5 amps. So I've got some experiments to do with that. And over here you'll see a couple of uh, DC mo motors. Uh, they're 12 volt motors and uh, those are for another experiment that uh, I've got in the working here and I was discussing them with my friend yesterday and um, he's kind of like uh, got me a little enthusiastic enthusiastic about following up on this one so I'm looking for some other parts that I need I need to get an old clothes washer to get uh, a motor out of there that I need and um, then I'm going to wire that whole thing up and we'll do another video and I'll show you what I've achieved out of that in the meantime G Bear here signing off it's late in the afternoon it's time for a beer see y'all later